that's not how I would have liked it to go. Um, started off okay, then uh, you know we missed out on a few semi-finals uh, for a few rounds, and that was super frustrating. Sometimes you make the right choice, sometimes you make the wrong one. It's hard, you know, you have the good times and you have the bad times. Sometimes you just need to, to do something completely different, just not to think about Speedway uh, for some time. It's very nice when I get some time to spend with my, my family, of course, but it's not been so much this year. It's been, uh, been quite a lot away from uh, you know, both my wife and definitely my daughter. Follow me up. Everything I do is to escape from the speedway world. <laughs> I'm a person that likes to go to the track, race, and as soon as I leave the track, it's done. And then I switch off and have my free time. What you gonna do? Hello and welcome to round four of the FIM Speedway Grand Prix from the Tetoros Forest in Germany. Seven points, I don't think will be enough for Ty Wolf and Smiles. They will finish on 13. Disappointing night, disappointed with that. And we're always chasing perfection. Uh, sometimes you chase too much and you go the wrong way, and sometimes you maybe you don't chase enough and you're constantly, constantly battling with yourself, with, with the team to, to prepare everything the best we can. We made some wrong decisions with the bikes, with the bike setup, and uh, myself wasn't uh, riding the best either. Untidy race there from Freddie Lindgren, and he fails to score. And it's a disappointing return of five points. And unfortunately for the uh, man second in the World Championship, he will not be in the semi-finals this evening. After Tetra, you know that that's a tough, tough situation, and uh, I was <laughs> I was very, very down for some days, and to again like pick yourself up, up, and you know go to the gym, go training, and you know pick yourself up, do everything again, and try and come back, you know, strong. It's uh, it's very, it's very tough. Jag så mycket. Jag har en extra familj med Carolinas familj som har tagit in mig. Både hennes bröder och hennes mamma som hjälper oss mycket. Mm. Mycket kärlek. Mm. Och jag trivs med sällskapet av, av allihopa. Mm. Jag har blivit så duktiga på att ändå inte vara i jobbet, vilket Speedway då är. Att vi, inte be vi behöver inte prata om det hela tiden eller vara uppe i det hela, hela, hela tiden. Upplever jag i alla fall, är i alla fall bättre. Eh, och när du, när ni träff när du träffar liksom familj och så, så känns det inte som att 
det är inte det första de frågar dig. Hon träffar ju inte spiratföraren Fredrik, hon träffar Nej, ju exakt. människan Fredrik, kan ja. man säga så? Ja, mm. dig som person. Exakt. Vi behöver ju komma ur den. Bubblan. Bubblan, precis. Det är, och den är inte så jävla lätt att komma ur. Alltså om, man är, om, du, om du umgås med folk hela tiden i branschen så, så, så är det ju... Då hamnar du ju där. Ja, man är ju där. Som ett vilket jobb som helst. Liksom att jobbar du väldigt, väldigt mycket, då fastnar du ju där. Alltså då, 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 då hamnar du i ditt arbete hela tiden. Mm. Och din person är ditt arbete. Precis. Här är ju skillnaden att här kan man ju liksom checka ut ifrån den bubblan och kanske man bara hänger, man åker lite båt, man, man åker ut i skärgården, man åker lite vattenskoter, man gör ja, lite vad som helst. En lunch och grill. En lunch, liksom. precis, eller sånt, så att man kan växla av liksom, och bli bättre på att liksom, kliva ut på det sporumet, tycker jag. Tycker jag också. Mm. Det, alltså, det, jag ja, ja, definitivt. Alltså, det, förut var det ju mera fokus och det var ju hela tiden någonting på det viset. Det känns mer som att du är mer relaxed nu, om man säger. Alltså, du, mer avslappnad. Det kan vara avslappnad när jag ja, kan men, vara avslappnad. Ja, men exakt. För förut så fanns det alltid någonting som var hela tiden. Och låg och kroppade ja. lite. Man såg att ja. det inte var spänd. Precis. Du känns mer avslappnad nu. Definitivt. You know the funny thing, I didn't tell you, I, when my mate got it booked for me, he was like, oh yeah, you, you're opening up, you're like first on, on a small stage. Turns out I'm fourth on the big stage, main stage. Sure. I am. I'll do all my producing in the off season, and then I'll have all my songs ready for next summer so that I can just focus on my racing and release the songs on Spotify. Make somebody a good housewife. So the best option is sport because you have a much louder uh, noise. But it's still stable. I keep on struggling. <laughs> no problem. It's all. I love taking risks. The bigger the risk, the more rewarding. I could have drove that Lambo at 100 kilometers an hour, but I chose 300, 315 kilometers an hour instead. It gets me more excited. It's good, like I, I thrive in moments when the, the more people, the, the more I enjoy it. So good to see a healthy crowd here in Riga. We started to get the ball rolling again in uh, Riga. And here we go then, heat number 10, what a line up it is. Roar into the first corner and it's Wuffington off the outside. That's a terrific effort from him. Wuffington's made a lovely start out of gate number two. Gets the better of Frick. Here comes Lambert. Oh, Wuffington's on wide. But he's out in front here. He's having a super Grand Prix. Yeah, I think maybe I finished on 12 points or something, maybe 13. And then uh, got through the semi-final quite easy. And then just made a mistake in the, in the final. Up. We're into the first corner. Whoa, it's oh. tight. Lingo's gone down. 
But that's the second warning for Ty Wolf. Wow. Two yellow cards makes it red. Look how far back he is. Yeah, he's a long way away, almost a foot away from the tapes, moving as the tapes go up. Snakes to the first corner, and Ty Wolfenden. Bitterly disappointed for Ty Wolfenden then. Third time of asking. Oh, Lingren out of the start. What a start that is. Freddie Lingren holding the inside line, sparkling around the outside. There he is. That. But Bartosz Marslik out in front. And Bartosz Marslik on top of the box again. Wins in style. I made a really good uh, a good meeting. I was topping the standings after the, the main event. And I was feeling really good, but uh, Bartosz, he is... Uh, very tough competitor, uh, very good rider, and if you're going to beat him, you need to be on your on the top of your game. And uh, came close again, but uh, maybe we'll see. We got three more rounds. Maybe I can <laughs> I can be on my A game these these three rounds. I was looking really good. Um, yeah, I had a feeling all week that I, that I would have won in Cardiff and um, yeah, I felt like that was going to be the year to do it. Oh, long pause, Wuffenden a little bit on, up bounce, misses the start. Wuffenden round the outside, Doyle under pressure, into the last lap, here we go, round the final corner and Wuffenden's going to steal the winner. Here he comes, round the outside of Wolfenden. It's gone very wide indeed. Oh, oh no, that's a big mistake. Oh, oh. too much grip from Wolfenden. He's off the bike. Ah! I finished early, obviously, with the hand injury. So, yeah, another injury, another season gone. With Smarslick just getting the better of Freddie Lingwin. You can't really have regrets. I mean, uh, I did at the time what I thought was the good thing, but uh, that time it was a mistake to, to tuck in behind Jack on the inside. So uh, it goes so fast in this sport. I used to struggle a lot, being a lot of nervous before uh, a big race coming up. And uh, yeah, this year I've been very calm. But it's not only for the racing, it's for, for the overall life to, to uh, be well and be more calm. I've won the championship three times and I've been injured every year since 2019. Uh, quite bad injuries as well, so. Yeah, it's frustrating, uh, but anyway, I, I love it. I love it, man. Like, I can't see myself doing anything else in the future. I want to keep racing. Mm -hmm.